it immediately falls into having clarity around the identity of the artist and being able to communicate that both in a verbal way, in a, in a written way, um, as well as in like a nuances of conveying the character with like color and spacing and geometry and texture, hue, gradients, like these kind of layerings of things are kind of the other toolkit, which is maybe communicating like really the 80, like carrying the, the heavier weight of the communication is all those nuanced things around the color and the texture and those things. Whereas the verbal communication helps reinforce that, but that's almost more like the icing on the cake. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm just kind of unpacking and digesting what you said. Um, I definitely agree. I think within that um, same kind of realm, where would you say the, because it's all stemming from the emotion, where would you say the visuals falls in comparison with importance to the copy or the text? I would say like 80-20. I mean, it's not to say that the, I think that maybe it's, they're both equally important, but I think that the visuals end up carrying more of the message. Definitely. Especially this day and age, people are like, they want to see that maybe there's text there and they're kind of like absorbing some keywords. But you know what I do? Um, like I'll write out the sentence and then I'll bold the keywords. I'll bold them because more, more than likely people are in a rush. They're not even going to read the whole sentence. They're just going to breeze past. And if a few of the words are bold, they'll be like, they'll at least carry some of those kind of key things that reinforce the, the visuals that they're looking at.